So, you want to be a YouTube commentator. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but a lot of people figure, hey, my iPhone has a camera on it, I should talk about stuff because Jenna Marbles is really popular, or whoever you like, and you think you have something interesting, insightful, or funny to say. Well, that's not too likely, but let's help you out anyway. Here's an example of a really bad YouTube commentator, as played by your old pal Buckley, because picking apart a real video is against YouTube's pussy codes of whatever the fuck. Hey YouTube, it's me, it's Jason. Uh, so I hope you really like this video, and like, uh, you know, if you do, um, you know, you can click the subscribe button. It's uh, it's up here somewhere, <laughs> and uh, you know, don't forget the thumbs up as well. So, um, yeah, today I wanted to talk about like um, um, some people have asked me to talk about like uh, bullying, and um, okay, like I, just, I don't know about you guys, but like. And by guys, by the way, I don't mean, like, guys and girls as well. Girls get bullied too, you know, but, like, I don't know about you guys, people, whatever, you know. I don't like bullying. Um, I think it's mean, and it's not nice, and, like, um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, well, I have, like, a friend, right, and, and he gets bullied, you know, and, uh, and he gets really upset by it, right? And, uh, you know, it's hard because you can't really tell him, like, what he tell, you know, like, you can't go and tell, like, the teacher or anything, because, because, you know, then what, right? Like, then the bully's just going to get mad at that, and, and then they're not going to do anything, the teacher's not going to do anything, the bully's just going to keep doing whatever they want to do, so, like, that's, like, what bullies do, right? So, like, I don't know, I just think that, like, people shouldn't bully in it, you know, things would be better. Okay, so, um, yeah, like, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, you know, subscribe hopefully, and I uh, hope you like this video, and I'll, I'll see you next time. This is basically every fucking video on YouTube that's not a music video or a lyric video, or a clip from a TV show or a movie, or content by one of the bigger YouTubers. And even then, I've heard Jenna Marbles, Mr. Chai City, who appears to be retired, and some of the other ones do some of this shit too. Let's start with some basic stuff here. Number one, don't start with, hey YouTube, and don't beg for subscribers. People know where the fucking subscribe button is, and if you're engaging, they'll click on it. If you're not, they won't. Which leads into number two, structure. Just get right into it. This is going to sound egotistical, but nearly every piece of content I do is a masterclass on radio style bit construction. It might not be your style entirely, you might come up with some cool little intro or whatever, but if you must introduce yourself, do so and get right to the setup, the point that you want to make. And don't tell the audience what you want to talk about. No need to say, hey, so today I'm going to talk about, just get right into it. Then the middle of the video, you discuss the subject with actual points, explain your opinion, don't just give it. If you're going to be funny, then include jokes and while you're at it, have a reason for talking about something. People ask me all the time to make videos about some broad topic because they clearly don't understand what I do, but it's pointless. What about bullying? Do you have a decent story to tell about it? Did something recently happen in the news? Do you have any reason at all beyond, six people said I should do a video about bullying and I think people care about my opinion? Keep in mind, at no point do I believe my opinion is important or that anyone cares what I have to say about things. It's the entertaining way I discuss things and relate them back to the audience that is engaging. Who gives a shit about someone saying, I don't like this because I think it's bad? Who cares? Who are you? Nobody. There's a saying I learned in broadcasting school. The audience doesn't care about you. They care about how you relate to them. You don't care about Louis C.K., you care about how his comedy relates to you, and if it doesn't, you're just watching for the jokes. You don't give a shit about his life. Anyway, then, end the video with something. The kicker, the punchline, the high note, the grand finale. I always try and end with a joke, because that's what you do in radio when you don't suck at it. You can come up with something else, a sign-off or whatever if punchlines aren't your thing, but whatever you do, figure out a graceful way out. Which brings me to number three. Fucking... Edit. The reason I don't show my face on camera is for two reasons. None of them have to do with not wanting to be seen. Number one, cameras have really shitty mics and the audio quality is a top priority for me. And number two, editing audio seamlessly is much easier than editing video seamlessly. 
this piece of audio will probably have at least 20 edits in it, and you won't hear a single one. But you'll see the video jump when you make edits. That's fine, it's YouTube. People are expecting some amateur qualities, but don't leave unnecessary shit in the video. Cut out the part where you say things like, oh, what was I gonna say? Or that tangent you went off on that just didn't work. Or, at the very least, get rid of the part where you're turning the camera on and off at the start and the end. You can even make the jump cuts part of your shtick, like Kane Carter does. Do multiple takes in multiple areas, and get away from your cluttered computer desk that no one wants to see, so that you only have to possibly memorize a chunk of what you were going to say at a time. Which brings us to number four. Learn to write. If you're not a good writer, this might just not be for you. Everyone thinks they can just turn on a camera and speak and it'll be good. It won't be. Even the best stand-up comedians have written their material and then performed it numerous times in front of tons of live crowds before they get to the part where you even see them on TV. Very rarely is someone so talented they can go on stage with nothing prepared and entertain an audience. And even those who can have been doing it for so long, it's just a part of them. So what makes you think you can just turn a camera on and be great? And news anchors read teleprompters, so if you're trying to be a serious vlogger, or even if you are trying to be a comedian, then I'm sure there's some free or cheap teleprompter type app for your tablet or computer. I just use Open Office, but again, I'm not on camera, so it's easier for me. So that's that. That's all the tips I'm giving away for free today. Hopefully this will help you stop littering YouTube with shitty videos, and start littering YouTube with videos that are slightly less shitty. See what I did there? That'd be the end. Except I kept talking, so now it's not. Fuck.